What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm David Carroll, your Las Vegas realtor with Signature Real Estate Group and welcome to Upton by KB Homes here in the southwest of Las Vegas. Have a look around. 2,615 feet above sea level, 24% humidity, 99 degrees and 49 on the air quality. And we are in a flight path out here. So we're getting close to uh, Harry Reid Airport. You can see the plane flying by now. We're probably about 15, 20 minutes to the airport, 10 minutes to downtown Summerlin. We're right down the street from the Durango Casino, and this is the southwest of Las Vegas. Here at Upton, they're featuring their landings, two stories, so they have a total of five floor plans to choose from. Got the 2469, we're about to tour, the 2069, the 1768, and today we're gonna be touring the 2469 model. It starts as a four to five bedroom, two and a half to four bathrooms with the two bay garage. Today's pricing starts at $549,990. Now I do wanna mention before we go in, HOA is $60 a month, no SIDS or LIDS, no gate. We do have the park and a dog run. Total of 149 home sites, they've sold about half so far. Lot sizes average about 3,000 square feet. Lot premiums are averaging about six to 11,000 currently. It's about a six month build time from dirt. They do have dirt lots available. They got two specs coming up. And let's take a closer look. So it looks like we do have the seven foot tall garage door. That's currently set up as a sales office. You will get your traditional coach lighting here. This is one of their upgraded elevations. So three different exteriors to choose from. You also get all paver stones in the drive. So what they'll do is once they sell the models, when the community's almost closed out, they'll finish all this up, get it back to normal. I can already tell we have the nine foot tall ceiling upgrade with the eight foot tall front door in green. Let's take a closer look. Welcome to the 2469. Upgraded luxury vinyl plank. Got the upgraded four inch base, orange peel texture. This one has the rolled corner edges. Have a look. Here's your entryway. So eight foot door, nine foot ceiling upgrade, two LED hallway lights. I love the flooring upgrade. You will get 17 by 17 tiles in all the wet areas. Right behind we have our coat closet. Also got garage access, which currently is a sales office. These are the standard height on the door, six foot, eight inches, two panel with the upgraded hardware and brushed nickel. So typically this is the first upgrade, keeping the knobs but upgrading this, the color. Here's your den. This could be optional bedroom number five, which I think is great for resale. Very sweet. So if you do bedroom five, it does turn this into the full bath, which adds a lot of value. You got your pedestal sink, elongated toilet, comfort height, loving the floor upgrade. That's gonna be your biggest option for sure. And again, customers are spending about five to 10% in upgrades, but that's kind of without the high level flooring upgrade, more of a standard configuration. Nice large window here on the side, low E, argon gas. No screens on the window for the models. They will put them on at close of escrow though. And have a look at this artwork. Shout out to the design team. Really just kind of pulling it off with the whole theme. So creative. Now the first thing I noticed was the upgraded modern railing, stain grade. So we have a couple options here. We deleted the pony wall and then we upgraded to the stain grade open railing. The only thing I can say is make sure your dog has puppy training because my dog ate that up on my model home. Now here's your dining living room and kitchen. I do want to point out we're getting quite a bit of light here so it's dimming it down but this home kind of has the side yard set up so you do have the eight foot tall upgraded slider with the nine foot ceilings and it looks great. There's something to say about the side yard versus the backyard right? The backyard's only about maybe about four feet to the wall here but you do have this beautiful side yard all finished back there. I like it because you can kind of entertain 
right in the kitchen. Now, speaking of the kitchen, it's got the extended island, the upgraded island, probably level three or level four. Looks great. Large veining. Got the upgraded Kohler. Loving this material in white, center divide. Brush nickel on your Moen hardware, very sleek. Just my style. You got the air gap on top. That's for your dishwasher, just to prevent any back backflow. And your dishwasher. All Whirlpool appliances, they have been upgraded. Nice setup. Now on this side, they've upgraded to the 42 inch cabinetry, stained grade with the modern hardware. No soft clothes. Take a look at the drawers while we're here. Stapled on, screwed on, side glides, aristocrat cabinetry. And again, stain grade is an upgrade. Your five burner whirlpool range and your upgraded microwave. Standard comes with the vent. And then you usually have two choices on the microwave. She's venting out. Beautiful quartz for sure, large veining. It's kind of got the large vein and then the small vein. Sugar and coffee, I don't mind. And that makes me think, where are those cookies? Here's your pantry. Great storage above all wire shelving. So cute. What an idea. I always love it when you can have little spice rack setups. Now the refrigerator is optional, counter depth. This is optional as well, the box in refrigerator or else you don't get any cabinetry above. You would get the side here. And here's your dining. It's kind of odd not seeing the backyard here, but we have one single LED, four upgraded LEDs and a fan and light over the living. Total of six LEDs over the kitchen and we definitely got stereo speakers because she's a model. I love the feel of this room. The modern windows here are a great touch as well. And I would put automatic blinds on every single window, including the slider. What a beauty. Welcome to Upton by KB Homes. Here is your side yard. Now this will also come dirt when you take ownership. And then kind of in the backyard, so maybe about five foot. Got a large carrier unit for this large home, 2469 square feet. And they're always going up to code. So whatever the sear rating that the code recommends or dictates and the tonnage, these homes are set. Side gate. So yeah, great little spot, cozy spot to hang out. I really love the versatility with the slider going to the kitchen. So that on those cool days, you can just open the door, put your screen on and entertain. So there she is, your kitchen, living room, dining, fully upgraded flooring. Let's head upstairs. Now, welcome to the second floor. They've gone with the standard pony wall, which is the wall you see here. In lieu of that, for an upgrade, you could do the open railing, modern or mission, stain grade or paint grade. Here she is, your loft. So all your secondary bedrooms on this side, we got four upgraded LEDs. We've got stereo speakers. On this side, we have our laundry. Now we do have options to put double doors on the primary suite, which will cut into your closet, but I love that look. Here's your linen closet. Although having the full storage linen, you know, everything in life is positives and negatives. Yin and yang. We have the floor pan down below. We've got our dryer box, cooking with gas, hot, cold drains for your washer and drains for your reverse osmosis. Look at that. Beautiful. Got attic access above as well. Let's take a look at the primary suite first. First thing I can think is a lot of square footage. You got the bench right in front of the bed and it's huge in here. Great window placement, great lighting. Welcome to the Southwest. Amazing access to the I-215 and the Durango Casino. I love the, the eating at the Durango. 
You got the George, you got Nikos, you got Mikos. Here is your walk-in closet. Huge, two LEDs. Got the built-in shoe rack, wire shoe rack. Or you can put your linen there. I know, for me, we need more storage for our shoes. This is nice and convenient as well. And your bath. This is one of the configurations. You can either do the standard setup, the tub and shower, or the luxury shower with bench. Just depends, do you need the tub? Now, this tub is huge, look how wide that is. It must be about a foot and a half deep. All brushed nickel hardware upgrades. Also on your shower, very clean. I don't think I've seen this handle set up before. Interesting. Now they have gone with the slab upgrade. One thing to say about the slab, it's very easy to clean versus like tile and grout. You can just kind of hit it with your squeegee. Large window, oval undermounts, single pole hardware, very clean, very nicely upgraded. Now with that being said, customers will spend about five to 10% in upgrades. This one's probably a little on the higher side, maybe 10 to 15% in upgrades and with that flooring for sure. Really, it's about how much flooring you put in because you can get away with maybe spending 20,000 if you keep it tight on the flooring. Maybe just upgrade it later, right? Keep that budget tight. So that's the primary suite and she is sweet. I do want to mention we have jump ducts above. So instead of the transfer grill, we do have the jump duct for airflow. So it kind of maintains that air pressure. Now here's bedroom number two. Bedroom number three. Bedroom number four. Wow, this one's large, almost like a dual primary. Eight foot ceilings, two tone paint, but just to say it again, KB only does white paint, which I kind of like. Keeps it real simple. Although sometimes when you get the two tone paint from the builder, it is less expensive for the whole house. And welcome to Upton. You got the park, you got the dog run, no gate. We're right by Durango Casino, right by the I-215. Amazing access. Got great access to Summerlin, downtown Summerlin, Red Rock Casino parks, trails, you name it. This is a huge room. Loving that window. You could almost have a little office in this closet. Be looking right out the window. What do you think? Wow, transfer grills above the door. And here's bedroom three. They have upgraded the fan and light. You won't get any light in here except the half hot switch for your lamp on the floor. And then bedroom number two. I like this one too, nice and long. They always theme these out beautifully. I remember this was the, I wanna say the dinosaur room in one of the other models, beautiful. It says bam. It says even superheroes have to go to bed. Floating shelves, that's cool. Here's your secondary bath, dual sinks. Got the standard tub and shower combo, upgraded hardware, upgraded flooring, all LVP in here. Stain grade cabinets from the kitchen. Upgraded hardware, she's a beauty. So what do you guys think? The 2469 model upped in by KB Homes. If you'd like any more information, give me a call anytime. If you liked the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.